Good evening, folks. I'd like to add some perspective on the primary intent of Bill 160-2, the New Zealand Food Bill. I have a PhD in population ecology from California at Santa Barbara, and I've spent most of my working life as an environmental analyst including 15 years as a program specialist and finally as a director with UNE, SCO, in all my years, working with the highest international policy and dealing with environmental management relating to the human system. I have never encountered such a regulatory document anywhere that even vaguely approaches the DAO present in this document. The time taken to draft this cunningly contrived control mechanism would run into hundreds of thousands of person hours. The cost of drafting anything like this complex control mechanism would be vast, probably running into the millions of dollars. The scope of the document is absolutely incredible. It allows for the state to absolutely deploy its full capacity to control even the minutest levels of food and food related components. If desired, this could even include a food plan to cover what one might feed a dinner guest, along with the associated prescriptions and punishments that might be involved in case of deviations therefrom. I say allows because everything, and almost any related thing, can be allowed by the minister. Or not, in addition to the thousands, of specific conditions cited. This is a comprehensive control mechanism, pure and simple. Its political purpose is clear, the source of funding, the support draft and the template for this item are quite clear, and many people have already alluded to this. What kinds of free trade agreements do you think will develop with this sort of thing as the backstop? True, it allows for rules and procedures to be formulated to help ensure that the food one buys is safe. But that is not the primary intent of Bill 160-2 at all. Nothing other than the full and explicit control of society is intended through so-called food management. Food energy is a fundamental ecological choke point that governs all living systems. Think about it folks.